something something rather shocking uh, if you've been watching my 17 Hornet videos you'll know that I was having problems with what I thought were what I thought were excessive loads because I had primers popping and primers cratering primers cratering yeah that seemed to be reasonably consistent primers popping you know it was only a few here and there um, and that's the Hornady ammunition and the Hornady hand loads, the, the, the hand loads that I made with Hornady brass. Some of that brass was brand new, so it hadn't been fired at all. Brand new brass and I had, uh, I had, a, I, had I don't know, I can't remember how, not a lot, but a few. I had a few primers pop and the, the reconditioned brass, the Hornady reconditioned brass, I had primers pop on that. The cellar and bellow brass, I did not. I have to stress that. I bought two boxes of cellar and bellow uh, factory ammo and I used that and it was pretty much about the same accuracy as the Hornady, bra as the Hornady ammo, but um, didn't have a problem with the cellar and bellow brass. Whereas I, I was just uh, trying to prime some Hornady cases out of 50 cases that I had and I can't remember if these are, are new or if I think they're new I think they're actually new I think it's actually new brass I don't think I've used this brass at all now what I discovered was I was putting uh, CCI BR4 Bentress primers in them trying to and I'll check a couple out Ooh, that's too many and what I discovered was and I was using that Duvalaki, which goes in uh, the lead press and it comes down and it just pushes, it just well, you can see it, it pushes the uh, the primer in. Now, on one of them I went eh, and and oh, the primer's still there. Didn't want to go in. Wow, this pocket must be really tight. It wasn't tight. It was that loose that the primer just wouldn't even stay there and. I don't know how loose this one is. I'll put a primer in there. I can just, look, it just falls out. I'll grab that later. It's that loose. That primer pocket is so big, and this is brand new brass. I know that's brand new brass because I can tell, because I can always tell if I've uh, reconditioned it. Here's one where the actual, the primer stayed in. Now I'm wearing safety glasses just in case I blow this. So I've got this tiny little drill bit that actually fits in the flash hole, I'll line it up. Bang, out comes the primer. It's that loose. And on some of them, some of them it, it just falls out. Try this one. Where's, where's the flash hole, where's the flash hole? Come on, there you go. Bang, out comes the primer. Another one. Out comes the primer. Now, on, um, on one of the comments on one of my 17 Hornet videos, the guy said that he had problem with uh, with primer pocket tension, with primer tension. Bang, that one, just, just pop it out by hand, that easily. That one's got nothing in it. So, and I thought, oh, you know, Hornady brass is usually pretty good. Is it the primers themselves? Have they got the tolerance wrong in the primers? So, I tried some CCI 450 small rifle primers. Same deal. It's not the primers. It's not CCI at all. It is Hornady. This Hornady brass is faulty. Not all of it, but some of it. And like the difference, you know, when you're pressing it, some of it's uh, quick. Yeah, you feel it, you know, definite, there's a definite resistance. And some of them, it's, uh, <laughs> there's no resistance at all. And yeah, it's Hornady brass. I don't know. I've never had a problem with Hornady brass in the past. Even though I haven't used a ton of it, but the brass that I have used, the Hornady brass that I have used, I haven't had a problem with it. But this 17 Hornet brass, those cases, 
8 out of 50, the primer will not stay in there. It's either really loose or just won't even stay in there. It just comes straight back out because the primer pocket is that big. So I just wanted to alert um, everyone to this problem. If you are having problems with your 17 Hornet and you think your loads are excessive, it's probably not the case. It's probably the Hornady brass. You know, depending on how you prime, if you're not really paying attention, and yeah, I'm probably I'm guilty. Of, I'm probably guilty of that. I didn't pay attention um, because I have had like with loading other ammunition, I have I have had varying you know tension on the primers, and yeah, it didn't really do a whole, didn't really mean a whole lot. But this is a whole different story altogether. It's a whole different ball game. When the primer won't even go into it, it just full straight back out when you're priming it. That is a serious problem. So, <clears throat> um, I don't know what to do because Hornady, where I am anyway, Hornady seems to be the only brand of brass for 17 Hornet that I'm able to get. Um, and I've got, uh, I've got, I don't know whether, it, I think it's this brand new brass because the reconditioned brass, I don't think I had that problem. Um, I think it's this batch of new brass. So if you are having problems with your prime tension in the prime pocket, you know, resistance when you're priming, uh, I'd be interested to know if it's new brass or you've reconditioned the brass and you're having that problem. I'm really interested to know because this is really bizarre. It's quite, yeah, it's quite unique. I've not seen it before. Not, not that bad, you know, not whether that loose. So hopefully um, I'll get some replies about it from other people because I'm really interested to know. So hope to hear from you. See you later.